Let's draw the Lewis structure of calcium sulfide, CAS. Calcium is a metal from the left side of the periodic table, and sulfur is a nonmetal from the right-hand side. A metal and a nonmetal will combine to give you an ionic compound. That means that there's a transfer of electrons from the metal to the nonmetal. Let's demonstrate that. Calcium in group two brings two valence electrons with it, Ca12. Sulfur is in group 16. It brings six valence electrons with it. Sulfur, one, two, three, four, five, six. I spread them out before I started doubling them up. It's just good form. Now again, in ionic compounds, the metal gives away its electrons to the non-metal, and you'll use as many of these as you need to make it so that all the non-metals have eight electrons around them each, octet rule, and all the non or all the metals will have no electrons left because they gave them all away. So calcium will give one electron away here. Those electrons will now be paired give its other electron away here, those electrons get paired, and I think that's going to be it. Calcium will have no electrons left in its valence shell, so just draw the Ca with no dots. It has a plus two charge because it gave away two electrons, and the way we show charged particles in a Lewis structure is with square brackets. Sulfur, on the other hand, started with six and now has eight electrons because it gained those two that calcium gave away. That gives it a charge of minus two and eight dots around it. This is your complete Lewis structure because we only needed one of each. The calcium gave its electrons away, everyone's happy or satisfied, and so are you because we drew the Lewis structure together. Best of luck.